Hello and welcome to this 1000 point match play solo game, Eternal War of Adeptus Aratus versus Demons of Nurgle. <laughs> Hello, here we are. We've got all deployed and set up. So I'll introduce the battle and the scenario, and then I'll introduce the armies. Uh, I'll start with the Nurgle demons this time. So my warlord is my great and clean one. Let's go here. He's not Scabbath Raps, which is what this model is, just more great and clean one. Um, he's got uh, the warlord trait Plague Fire Hive. He's marked with the hit in several inches. And he's got the item that's called the Horn of Nurgle's Rot. Whenever he kills somewhere, he can replenish a plague bearer unit like this one here. Uh, Bile sword is normal. He's got Miasma Pestilence and the one that makes him heal wounds, Fleshy Abundance, and obviously Smite. And then troop choices. I've got three Nurgling bases, and they scouted forwards a little bit. Um, and I've got two units of plague bearers. Here's my first unit, ten. Um, I had the WYSIWYG them, not WYSIWYG them. Sorry, they are not WYSIWYG. They have got a Horn, a Thunder Bear, and a Champion. Um, I'm going to say this guy that's not got his base paint is the champion, and these two were the standard bearer and the horn person, it doesn't matter which. Other unit, they've got 11. They are WYSIWYG because they've got everything. And then in my Leaks and Frost Attacks, I've got three Beasts of Nurgle, my Plague Toad models. Don't like the Beasts of, Toad, Beasts of Nurgle models at all. I love these models. I've just finished painting them as well. So they look pretty gribbly. I think they're great. So I've got them. And I've also got three Plague Drones. There was a big, unfortunately, where is he? This guy, his standard broke off just before I started playing. He's the standard bearer, the bell and, and the champion. And then last of all, I've got my uh, sword grinder. He's he's with me. He's got the sword, flame bombardment, harvester cannon, etc. And obviously the mark of Nurgle. Apologies, apologies. The square bases. Um, this is the Relic of Fantasy, obviously, when we used to play Fantasy a lot. I have, I am in the process of ordering some circular bases. I'm going to convert all these onto circular bases and my Tazich Demons as well, because I'm not going to play Fantasy again. So they will be on circular bases soon, and hopefully painted. I've only got a couple of things I have to paint this army, but it's just that guy and these three. Um, so I get this painted, I apologise for square bases. It does somehow look quite jarring, actually, for 40k, but I wanted to use them because I wanted to give my sisters something different to fight. Um, so it'll be fun. Okay, that is a thousand points of Demons and Nuggle. Over to the sisters. Um, I was going to do this with Space Marines, but people seem to like the Adeptus Sorotis missions more, so I'm going to other videos more, so I'm going to do, do more of them because I love playing with these sisters. So, Wall of the Celestine, with the two Gemini Superiors, normal, and I've got Greyfax as normal. That's all as is normal, and I've got my Canoness there, Cancer Viridian. She has got, she's slightly different. She's got a Brazier of Holy Fire, but she's actually got the Sacred Rose Relic, the Light of Saint Ophelia, I think it's called something like that. Which basically means that she can do the Brazier of Holy Fire special attack thing every phase rather than once per battle, which is quite cool. So you may have heard there, I'm not using Valorous Heart this time, I'm using Sacred Rose. I don't think Valorous Heart would be particularly useful against demons because they haven't got many minuses as it is and hardly any shooting. So I'm Sacred Rose instead. One, because it means they can ignore uh, Mortal Wound, I think, or something. Only ever one model can ever flee. Only for an act of faith in the model's conviction, roll d6, and you get... Oh, no, that's what it is. When I use a Miracle Dice on a 5+, plus, I get another one back. And on Overwatch, I hit on 5s and 6s, which is pretty good, because I can see some Overwatch happening with this lot. So it's Sacred Rose, as opposed to Valorous Heart. That's always nice to have a bit of a change. That's, anyway, sorry, back to this. That's um, Warlord and Cadness. And then got three, three battles of squads. That one's a WYSIWYG, it's got Storm Bolter, Heavy Bolter, Chainsaw, Bolt Gun. This one's pretty much WYSIWYG, this five here. Flamer, Heavy Flamer. The Superior's not got a um, Combi Flamer, they've just got a Bolter. And then in this unit, last unit here, is, I'm afraid not WYSIWYG at all. Um, they've got a Heavy Bolter and Storm Bolter. I'm going to say that she's a Heavy Bolter, because it makes it easier, and one of these three is a Storm Bolter, probably the one at the front. She has got a Power Sword though, but I think she just got a Bolter, not a Combi Plasma. They got my five dominions as normal, the storm bolters, power sword and bolt gun on the superior, my five melter dominion as normal. Uh, they've all got melters. The uh, superior's got a common melter and a chainsword. 
Got five Crusaders. They did really well last time, so I thought I'd bring them again. I think I have to just walk this time. I've got, no, I haven't got the uh, points for a... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Rhino. Retributors as normal as well. Two for Belters, two multi melters. <coughs> Excuse me. And the superior's got the Power Mall and the Comic Plasma. And last of all, I've got my five sister superior. Not sister superior. What am I doing? I can't get my words right today. Five seraphim. They've got hand flamers this time though, as opposed to melted. I think the hand flamers should be quite useful with just loads of shots. So that's the armies. Onto the scenario. We've got three objectives in the middle of the board. Very, I like. I'm, I quite enjoyed the last game because it was just very simple scenario. I think I'm going to stick with that for a little bit while I'm still learning a lot of rules because I keep forgetting rules still. I think if I have a simpler scenario, I may get less rules wrong. So three objectives. Very simply, whoever holds the most at the end of the game gets, well, you get one point for each one at the end of the game. I don't know how many turns that is. And there's also still points for Slay the Warlord, Linebreaker and First Strike. Um, I can't see them getting First Strike. <coughs> but never mind. So there's those, that, that's up for grabs as well, but then it's literally one point for each of those at the end of the battle. So nice and simple again. Um, ground floor of all buildings is line side blocking. Um, this one's obviously nicely blocked, but the rest of them, this one is in fact blocked. That one is blocked. That one is blocked. So for example, no one can see those plague toads through there. Those beat to Nurgle impact. Um, cover, obviously inside the build, buildings as normal and on the gravel. Recording this as the... Um, not leaks, but the previews of ninth edition is coming up. I'm obviously sticking to what we know for eighth. I'm not going to play any rules of ninth that we do know because that would be silly. Um, so the uh, demons are the attackers and they're going first. So we'll come back after movement and probably movement and psychic uh, turn one. Let's go. Forgot to mention she's got heroin in the making. Uh, her warlord trait that she's gained is indomitable belief, which improves the invulnerable save everyone around her. And I also realize I haven't done my miracle dice. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the actual dice out in a second. Oops, last one. I'll roll my first two miracle dice. Four and a one. That's my first two. Right, now on to turn one. Okay, the demons have done what I exactly expect them to do, really. They plowed up the board, pretty much everything advanced. They advance right up here. They all have, the Nurglings have stayed behind there though, because I'm hoping they're, they're going to jump out onto that objective later in the game. These ones have all advanced. They advance. They've got a six on their advance, so they're right up there. The only one stand still is the Sogran. No, he's got such long range on his weapon, there's not much point in moving him because they're all heavy. He stayed still. So, uh, Psychic, um, he did Miles of Pestilence and it was denied. Then he did Fleshy Abundance. Not Fleshy Abundance, he did Smite. And killed a sister. Um, and I realised I hadn't done anything for this guy. I had to come back and do a psychic phase for this guy. Um, I can't remember what I gave him. Um, I'll do that now. I'll check what he did. Well, what he's got even. Okay, he's got Miasma Pestilence as well, actually, which is very helpful. So he's cast it on the great and clean one, and it went off. Um, that's good. So he's Miasma to hit now, which is pretty useful for him. So on to shooting. It's not a lot. These guys first. They advance, and they're just about... because they. They, they can see her power sword, but I, I do think that's not enough. If you get right down here, all they can see is her power sword sticking out. So I thought that's not enough, but they have advanced, so they can they have got ranged on those Crusaders. There are six shots with their death's heads, I think they're called, yep. Hitting on fives because they advanced. Uh, two hits, I'm doing bad camera work again. Threes to wound because they're Crusaders, re-rolling one, that's good. Two wounds on the Crusaders. Three plus invo on these ones. Both saved. Right, next up is the Soul Grinder. Let's check what he what his duff does. Okay, he's gonna fire both his guns at the retributors. Don't know why bad can work again. Um so he's got half of the cannon first. That's heavy three. He didn't move, so he hits on fours. Range 48. So he hits on fours. Ooh, one hit. No, not command pointing yet. Wounds are two. Wounds, it's minus one. So four plus save on the first retributor. Dead. And I'm not going to command point it, could have used the miracle dice, but nope, that's one dead. I'll take the superior off. And then he's got heavy D6 for flame bombardment, same target. Oh, I'm going to command point that this time. We need, need more shots than that for them. Six, there we go. Four, six, hitting on fours. Oof. Not really worth it, no re-rolls for them either. Wounding on twos again. 
two wounds, minus two. So I haven't even got any miracle dice I can use for this. It'll be five plus in runs. Two more dead retributors. So I'll take off. Oh, well, two heavy bolters I better take off, I suppose. I'll leave me with two multi melters, and that's it. Now I have got Spirit of the Martyr. So let's do it for the superior. Nope. And the two heavy bolters. One of them gets to fire. Let's fire at these plague bearers here. Please to hit me rolling ones because of the cannoness. Uh, what toughness they are. Well, that definitely wounds, that definitely doesn't. One wound on those plague bearers. Five plus in one. Doesn't say. Five plus disgustingly resilient. That's one dead plague bearer out of this unit here. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my one miracle dice, the one there, to automatically pass with those retributors. because I need, I need those two multi to survive. These ones have actually got to take one, because if they get a one, they get that guy back. Nope. So, but they are fine anyway. That's one dead plague bearer and three dead retributors. That's quite bad for them to lose those two heavy bolters. But they have to got the multi melters, and that is it for demons. Um, no first strike. It nearly did. He almost did quite well. Uh, no first strike though, so they haven't got that unfortunately. But um, let's go on to sisters turn one. Okay, sisters movement and psychic. I forgot to mention that um, these ones, these dominions and those dominions, obviously moved up. They get to do their, their free move before the game started. Um, I also forgot to do their morale test. They they lost one from the smite. Are they doing it because if I get a one, I get a miracle dice? But they didn't get one. They passed obviously. And I also forgot that because I'm sacred rose, I could roll on a five plus and I get milk dice back for spending the one to pass their leadership, which I did. I got another one. So, and then psychic, I did a smite with Greyfax, hit the right and clean one, did one wound. Now on to shooting the fun bit. Let's fire the two multi melters at the great unclean one. Minus one to hit now, unfortunately, so he's four to hit. Um, I'm not going to, yep, I will use a miracle dice, I'll use my four. To automatically hit with one, and that's gonna be my auto hit. Do I get that milk ice back? Nope. And the other one hits on a four. Nope. So one hit. Doesn't wound. Ooh, come on, point. Don't think that wound isn't a tough as eight. Quick check. Nope. Tough as seven. That does wound. So five plus in run on the great and clean one. No. Does he want to reroll? No, he's gonna save it. D6 more, D6 wounds, four. He's got four, let find some dice. Whoop, reach. Four, custom resilience. That's one, he's having three more wounds, have four wounds. Um, I'm gonna use my two Amorium Cherubs, obviously fire immediately again. Four's to hit. Ooh, got to be roll a one though, with Cannoness. Still doesn't hit, Oh. Okay, so that's a shame, but that's, that's what my person is good for, so that's not a great start from the multi melters. They do better than that. Um, let's move on to my lovely blessed bolts, storm bolters. So I'm going to spend one CP. Um, I already spent one, in fact, so I'm down to five now. Um, to yeah, blessed bolts on these, firing at them. Just going to get their stat line up. So I know what I'm hitting, I know what theirs are. Um, I don't have fives, I'm going to be wounded on fives, which is a shame, but they are two damage each, so, and a lot of hits, so four. So that's five inch, obviously, four, eight, twelve, thirteen. We're hitting sixteen shots. I'll do the superior separately. Oh, I have to do something really separately, I think, as well. No re-rolls on this, unfortunately. Hitting on threes. Three hits so far, and the rest of them go away. You two on threes, not fantastic, not too terrible. Let's take you out and use more dice. Winning on fives, though. Oh, only two, only two could have gone better, right? Five plus in run on those. Two. Ooh, didn't make any of this. That's four wounds. How many wounds they got each? Ooh, four, four wounds. wounds. Four wounds each. God, I got a lot of wounds, didn't they? Disgusting resilient. Make two. Just two wounds on one of those. I'll put that down in a second. And I'll come back when I've thought about what's going to fire next. 
Okay, after the Storm Bolter's dead, um, I did fire her Bolter. Um, two hits, two wounds, two non-saves and the invulnerable saves, but they are disgusting and they are resilient and I made two disgusting resilient saves, so still got one on two wounds. Next up, this unit. Uh, I've got two Bolters and a Storm Bolter to fire first and I'll fire a Heavy Bolter as well. Everything's firing at them, obviously. So here's the Bolters and Storm Bolter. Threes to hit. Not bad, not too bad. Six hits, five to wound though. None, oh dear. Right, Storm, uh, Heavy Bolter, I dropped around fours because they moved. One hit. One wound, five plus in run. Nope, disgusting resilient. Yeah, ooh, they are so disgusting and so resilient. Them done. Um, over here, there's a hay flame and a flame in there, so I've just got two bolters basically. They will take, they'll take pot up to the ground clean one, I guess. Uh, there'll be two shots, not rapid fire range. Two, one hit, because he's my asthma. One wound, five plus in run. Saved, he is all right. They're looking good for sister, I think I'll as well with this. Um, over this side, this whole unit here will fire everything at those plague bearers, I think. Let's see if I can do some damage finally. So nothing is in rapid fire range. So I'll fire my two bolters, three, three bolters in fact, and storm bolter first. That's these. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Very tough as four. Fours. Three wound. That's better. Five plus in run. Makes two. Totally resilient. No, that's one dead plague bear. Let's take. Oops. You off at the back. And then the heavy bolter, again they moved to fours to hit. We're rolling one with the cannoness. One hit, threes to wound, wound, five plus in run, saved. Demons are surviving quite quite miraculously at the moment. Right, the last thing I think to fire is um the five I mean, they've not done well. This is not a good first hit of shooting, and they've normally killed half the units by this point. Can the Nurgle Demons be the first thing to defeat this sister's army? Uh, five multi melters. They'll fire everything. I don't think they're in range. I'm gonna see if they're in range of those plague toad or the beasts of Nurgle. Because that will be a better target than the plague bears. Let's see. Right, they are all just about in range of those plague toads. Ah, oh, come on, plague toads. Beasts of Nurgle. So all five of them are gonna fire that with their melters. Um, so threes to hit with the melters. That's better. Threes to wounds. Beast Nurgle covers five. Ooh, that's better. In run saves. None this time. Right, can we find it some damage? Right, I'm gonna have to do it separately now. D6 wounds on the first one. Two. Disgustingly resilience. They make none. Oh, good. For the sake, right, so that one. So one suffered two wounds. Um, I'll have to see how many wounds they've got. Next one. D6 wounds. One. Disgustingly resilient. Nope. So three wounds. And this is the point where I'm gonna have to go check how many wounds they've got. Let's look in here. Five, so he's got two as left. Next one, d6 damage. Three. Can they kill a player in Nurgle? Nope, so one more wound, one wound left. Next one does one wound. Do you save it? No, nope, that's one dead beast of Nurgle. Right, last one does d6 damage. Five, it's better. And save so three. Just two wounds. I will put a proper wound dice, but to suffer two wounds. I think that's all my shooting. It's not gone well. Let's do my only charge on camera, which is these Crusaders. They're going to go for it. They're going to charge these guys. Locked up for a turn. Well, they have got flies. So they can move and shoot anyway. But let's do Overwatch. The Death Heads. Sixes. One. Just have to kill one. Threes. B plus, no, what's one dead? And do they make the charge, it's a six inch charge? Yes, they're well in, so four of them are in. We'll come back with that in a moment. Okay, so the Crusaders got in, they've got eight attacks between them. Um, this is three to hit, you're rolling everything because they are zealots, but that's pretty good. That many hits, they only take three, that was five, so five to wound. Three wounds that could kill one. 
5 plus in one. 5 plus disgustingly resilient. No, I think that is one dead. I think they've got four wins. I just checked, didn't I? Uh, four wins, that is one dead. We'll take off. I know I put the wounds on this guy, but wouldn't have champion. Let's take off the horn blower guy, I think. Right, time to tag back. Let me get their profile up. So they don't want to attack each plus the plague bringer, so I'll do the normal guys on top first. They hit on fours. One hit. They will wound on threes, and they get to re-roll. Yeah, we'll fail the wound roll. So threes, wound, C plus storm shield. <gasps> no, it's another one dead. <gasps> it's two dead crusaders. And they've got the flies. Um Uh, we've got to make four additional attacks with the uh, proboscis. Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to read the rules here, but please, I do apologise. So make four attacks each. Blimey. So this is probably his load of dead crusaders in a minute. Four to hit. It's cocked. Tank four, three to wound. Oh no, uh, oh, three wounds. It's good to kill them. Nope, they are good. So I've got a couple of um, new tests to make. Firstly, the Zealots. They are leadership seven. And they lost two, so they're all six. Nope, they're good. They aren't, they haven't got so good rights, so that doesn't do anything. And those plague bears over there, because if I get a one, they get some back. Nope, they are fine. And this is a turn one. They also didn't get first strike. And they killed, managed to kill a couple of plague bearers. Um, one beast of Nurgle, one plague drone. And in return, they also suffered casualties with two more crusaders. So, I know they've chipped off a few ones here and there, but they're about to be hit by a lot of, well, they're going to get, yeah. Could be interesting. Maybe maybe the demons will be the fact. Not who I expected. I did not think demons, well, demons are not exactly high up in the meta. But they've been they've been very disgustingly resilient this these guys so far. So let's see what happens in Demon's turn two. Okay, Demon turn two, movement and psychic. So pretty much everything moved up again. They have stayed in combat. I reckon they can deal with those crusaders, especially as they, they won't get the off to hit anymore. No going to stay where they are, they're still hoping to jump jump out onto that objective. These ones all have moved. He didn't advance, he just moved because he had maybe maybe get a charge off on those sisters if he doesn't kill them with other stuff. These ones all move, no advancing this side. I did actually move the Sogwind up this time as well, because I think if he gets stuck back here, he might end up with a bad field of fire. So I think move him up now. Um, so he's in good position. He's all moved up. Did magic, or oh, magic, psychic. Um, did uh, fleshy abundance, heal two wounds on himself. He tried to do a miasma pestilence, and uh, a smite, in fact, he tried to do, and Greyfax denied it. And then my prox bringer managed to do miasma pestilence again on this guy. So he's now minus one tip, but with his. Warlord trait. I think he's almost two to hit within seven inches, so that's pretty horrific. Uh, on to shooting, there's no guys obviously can't shoot them in combat, but I can fire his plague flail now. Assault three, uh, strength ridiculous, uh, like seven. So he will hit. I'm going to wait side where my dice tray is. Whoop. He's going to fire at these ones. The ones in range that aren't characters. So three to hit, two hits, two to wound. That is cocked. We always say that's cocked. Two wounds. They get a five plus in run because sh she's. In fact, they get a four plus in run because because she she gives them uh, plus one to the in run save. She gives them plus one plus. So she's got a four plus in run. And one that makes it, which I will take off the bolter person. On a five plus, she can shoot. Nope. So that's one bolter gone. That's him done. And then the soul grinder. Let's find his stuff. He's right at the end. Soul grinder. He'll fire his, let me think about this, he's going to help fires. I think he's going to fire everything and just try and kill these last two metrobutes. If I can get rid of two multi-melters, this guy is pretty safe with no multi-melters on the board. Let's fire that I reckon. So the harvest kind of first, heavy three. He's got fives now, which is a bit of a shame, but no hits. And then D6 shots with a flim bombardment. Four. Fives. Oh, none. Disappointing shooting phase. Right. Let's get some charges in then. Grand clean one first. Gonna charge these sisters. I think... Oh, yeah, messed up. They are in range with flamers. 
See, we'll take some flamey death. Um, let's see if he gets in first. Yep, he is definitely in, and they're definitely not going to kill him, so he can go in. Can he fit to that gap? I'm going to say he can. That'd be really silly otherwise. So he is there. Well, actually, but he has to declare trial against the Gemini Superior, otherwise he literally can't get in. So he'll declare against the Gemini Superior as well. Um, so they'll be able to overwatch. Well, um, next up, let's, let's these Plague Bearers can take the overwatch from the Dominion Squad, so they'll see if they can get in. Eight, that looks pretty good to me. They'll take the overwatch. They can't die from it, so I'll, fire, I'll charge the Plague Beast and Erbion as well. Two. Okay, well, they're not in. Do I want to come up with them? No, they can sit there for now. I don't think it's worth a command point, really. Um, I guess all the charges. So they are in. Let's get them in. Oh, I'll, I'll do the overwatch with those sisters first. I'll do overwatch with fives. Remember, this is five melters. I know there's an overwatch with the um, bolt weight as well. So five melters on fives. Uh, none. Well done. Well done, girls. That's good. And then the bolter. None as well. Lovely. And I realize I didn't do the miracle dice for this turn, but I'll, I'll do that. Uh, in a second, I don't think it'll make much difference. Well, I'll do it now. So I'm just fill part of my kitchen while I try and get these miracle dice out. It is a two and a five. Never mind, I'm not going to use one of those. But I didn't. So tough. So they're in. Let's move them up. I'll come back with them. Let's do this one to the bolt gun. <laughs> two hits. Five to wound him. No wounds. And then the flamers. I think the heavy flamer and the flamer will actually have the same wound characteristics. So... Hit automatically, so this may also make auto hits. Ooh, 10. 4, 6, 8, 10. 5 to wound. Ooh. 4 wounds on the great unclean. Let's get rid of you. 5 plus invun. Makes 1. 5 plus feel no pain. Makes 1, 2. So he's back to have 2 more wounds. He's back to 4 wounds. And then the bolt pistol on the general superior. Nope, doesn't hit. I think I probably will heroically intervene with Celestine, but oh, yeah, I think I've done now actually, so she will jump in there, and that Gemma Superior will jump in next to there. Uh, don't <laughs> he can't attack her at the moment, so that's good, and she could actually retreat in my turn. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to move those guys over, and then we'll come back with the first round of combat. Okay, starting off, um, I'm not really worried about interrupting particularly, but I'm going to go with the Great Unclean one first anyway. They're, they're interrupting really isn't a big deal. Great Unclean's going to go first. I've got five attacks, so I'm actually going to do everything against these three sisters here. I can't attack Celestine because I didn't declare her as a target, and I don't really care about Gemini Superior. So I'll attack these three. Uh, they've got five attacks, um, but then he gets attacked with Attendance, Claws, and Teeth. But uh, if they hit on twos, Four hits. He will wound on twos. He's on eight, actually. He re-rolls wounds. So all wounds, but they get a four plus in one because of she gives him plus one to everyone and her indomitable bleed gives him another plus, another plus one. So four plus in one for these three sisters. <gasps> Finally get a good roll. Only one dies. I will take out uh take out the superior, actually. She can go. She'll attack. Oh no, on a five plus she gets attack. Oh she does. She's got two attacks, I think. Uh, you one, kind of nice. Uh, one hit, they only hit on fours. Doesn't wound. I think six is to wound, actually, for them, anyway. Um, so that's him done. Oh, no, I've got D6 attacks with my attendant claws and teeth. Four. Uh, they still hit on twos. All hit. They will wound on five, I think. None, but they get to re-roll. Wound was a one. Uh, so I didn't get any. So one wound, it's going to be a three plus save. Made it, so wow, he only killed one sister. Didn't do so well, that did you matey? Um, I don't think, let me check something. Oh, I've got to do his crushing bulk, so on a four plus. Nope, they don't suffer one mortal wound. Um, yep, yeah, that's it, he only killed one sister. That was a bit rubbish for you matey. Let's do these plague bearers, see if they can do something. Just find their stat line. They're not great. Well, they'll take four and they'll hit on well, fours actually. Um, they get to re roll their wounds and everything. So all of them are in range. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's four, five, ten, and then one extra for the champion y, whatever he's called, plague ridden. So they hit on fours. Uh, no minuses to this either. 
Um, you number 24. That's it. Oh dear. That was not good at all. That's a lot of ones and twos and threes. Three hits. Win on threes. One. Uh, they all failed. Wounds. Three wounds. No minuses though. The three plus save. <sighs> they call them. Wow, it's been a really odd sort of game. Like, the Titus couldn't do anything in shooting, and these ones are supposed to be better in combat, didn't do anything in combat. Never mind. Um, let's go over to what will be me choosing. So these guys will go next. And uh, just realize I put their book away. I'll come back in a second when I've got the page open. Okay, onto the playgrounds. I'm not, I'm not interrupting with these Crusaders. I don't, I don't really care about them, basically. So I've got the three attacks with the guys on top. I hit on fours. One hit, wound on threes, uh, we're rolling that. Wound, three plus, yep, that's fine. And I get my eight attacks with my with the drones, with the actual fly things. These hit on fours as well. No, that's perfectly steadily average, that's four. Wound on uh, threes. So I get to re-roll failed wounds. Four wounds. This could be quite painful. So three plus only one. One dies. Right. Well, it's all sisters going back now. Let's do those two guys. Those two crusaders, two girls. Let's do those crusaders first. We'll do them first. Um, they hit on threes. No rewards this time because they haven't been charged. One wound on fives. Two wounds. Two invuns. Make one. Fair one. So if they're resilient, make it so they're fine. Um, Right, I'll come back here in a second. I think let's do those sisters over there. I need to check what they actually have. These sisters have only got one attack each, and then the superior's got one page. Yep, you give them a change or they get plus one attack, don't you? So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks. Correct me if I'm wrong, internet. I'm pretty sure a change will give you plus one attack. So we hit on. Fours, I believe. Get hitting on fours, wounding on fives. Mm, not great. Wounding on fives. No wound, that's them done. Let's do these two here. No hits. Uh, I'll come back. Now let's do my demo superior while they're there. They got three attacks each. Let's go ahead and clear one. They will be wounding this on sixes. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. That's cocked. They don't get to be all ones because they're not order models. Hitting on sixes. No wounds. Right. Celestine. Come on, Celestine. You can do something. Six attacks. I have six. You hit on twos. And you will wound on fours. That's not great. They don't get to be rolled because you're not order model. You don't fours. That's one wound, Elastine. Doesn't save. And it does two damage. Disgustingly resilient. Fails both of them. So he, and he'd already lost two more. He's lost six wounds now. Let's do that. That's all of it, really. Um, I've got some morale to do. Let, let me do his dice. He suffered six. Whoop. He suffered six wounds, not two. So he suffered six. Right, morale. Um, these Crusaders, fine. These ones, they lost two more, I think. They're fine. Uh, that's it. Those Plague Bearers didn't lose anything, I don't think. Um, no, I don't lose anything. So that's it. Um, again, not a great turn from the Demons either, but they have... As you can see they pushed right forwards for a Nurgle demon army. They really have come very far forward, um, which is very good for them, not so good for sisters. I might be pulling out combat in several places here and doing a lot of shooting. <laughs> uh, see what they can do. Let's come back after sisters shooting. Okay, sisters movement. A couple of things I'm just coming back with. I'd forgotten about his horn of Nurgle's rot. So he killed one sister, which meant I've, I gained one plague bear in this unit. Um, also, as I completely forgot about the fact that he's minus one to hit. Both with his warlord trait containing his and because of my other pestilence. Um, the sisters didn't, didn't do anything with the demo superior. I know that Celestine did some wounds, but I can't really be bothered to go back on it. So 
Um, I'm leaving it, frankly, at the moment. Um, so here's sisters, they pulled out combat so that all these ones can shoot at them, basically. They've all pulled out combat all the way down here. And right in the back, my Seraphim have dropped in there. Basically, I can wipe out those Nurglings. Um, I might as well do Psychic on, on camera. So she's going to do a Smite to see if she can hit this guy. Nine, can he deny? Let's get a ten. Nope, D3 Mortal Wounds on that guy. One, great. Custom Resilient, saved. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, on to shooting, I'll come back. I know, I'll, I'll go straight into some of this actually because these are definitely gonna spend another CP on Blessed Bolts, down to four. Oop, four CP. And finally I'm gonna get them again. So four, eight, 12, 16 shots. Can I get all these in my hand? Ugh. I can, yay. Three to hit. That is better. Five to wound though. Well, that's also better. One, two, three, four wounds. I think I've got the same action combo I did last time. Five plus in guns. Ooh, make two again. That is four wounds. They could kill one. Custom resilient. Ooh, almost do. One suffered three wounds. Right, let's keep moving on then. These ones are going to bite everything at them again. So let's do, I've got one, two, three bolters and a storm bolter because they all have the same profile. Uh, they hit because they didn't, or they just recently hit. Not so great. Five to wound. Two wounds, could, could this one go off? Five plus, it's kind of resilient. Yep, yeah, that is one guy dead. And I will have to take the champion off for good reason. And then last of all, Heavy Bolter. Three hits, because he didn't, he didn't move this time. Uh, fours to wound, two wounds. Five plus Invan. Custom Resilient, saved. So he is fine. That was not so bad, because they finally killed another play drone. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Obviously, I'm going to pay one for that. I'll do it now, because I forgot. One TP, Deadly Descent. Firing everything at those. Nurglings, let's do that now before I forget. Damn it, I hate when I forget things like that. So, uh, it's four bolt pistols, four hand flamers, and that's a pistol, which I won't overcharge. These are the four bolt pistols. Four hit. Oops, uh, I think they're tough as two. Those are all wound anyway. Five plus in gun, make none. They do get a five plus feel on their pain against this. Make two, so it's the first one to have two wounds. Let's get nerd things up now so I can check what their stuff is. Nerdlings. Four wounds of base, so the first one suffered two wounds. I keep a tally up here somewhere. So, first of all, two wounds from the bolt pistols and hand flamers. They're toughness two, so hand flamers. These are four D6 auto hits on these nerdlings. Ugh, not great. Should use a command to use a miracle dice. It's five, six, seven, ten. Ten. Just auto hit these wounding on threes. Oh, that's a three, it's fine. Five plus whoop. In gun. Two. Feel no pain. Oh I was, I was resilient. So that is one dead and one down to one wound left. So that's three wounds on one. And one taken off. Right, last thing, plasma pistol. Can she finish off the last one? No, because she always misses. Right, the laser's head done. Um, I'll actually go back, back on their shooting, I think. Let's do them now. Hand flames aren't in range, but the bolt pistol and the plasma pistol are. So, bolt pistols. Three hits. Two to wound. Two wounds. Five plus invun. Trust me, resilient. Nope, that is that last. That another base of nerdlings gone. And last is plasma pistol. Oh, it's overcharge. Hits, twos, wounds, uh, save, I saved it anyway. Okay, so that's two bases of Nurglings gone. Not so, not so bad, better start. Right, let's go down this side. Um, I need to come back with some rules and have a bit of a check of things, I think. 
Right, next up we're going to use my Candace. She's going to do her Brazier of Holy Fire, the Light of St. Agnatha. Don't know if she was in range last turn. I can't go back and check it now. Basically on a 2+, plus, this guy's going to have a D6 Mortal Wounds. Uh, I don't think I can use my dice. 2+. Plus. Got. Nope, I'm going to come on by that. Got to. Right, D6 Mortal Wounds on the Great and Clean one. For... He's lost three more wounds, need to get a dice out for him. So three wounds. Where's my dice? Where's my dice? Didn't know. I'll come back in a second when I found the dice. Okay, so he's down to half health now. Let's keep pounding at him. If I can take out the ground clean one, it will make my life easier. So let's just... Now these ones have got fly, so they can retreat and shoot. Let's do the two bolt pistols. Rerolling ones. No, no, not rerolling ones. One hit. One wound. Five percent one. Nope. He'll... Saved. Let's do Celestine, no shooting, Assault D6, one, uh, auto hits, doesn't wound. Right, let's do these two multi-melters. I'm going to spend one Miracle Dice, my five, to auto hit with one of them. The other one hits on a five, doesn't hit. So, and it wounds on a three, this one. Wounds, right, come on, Invan. Nope, and I think he's well within melter range, so two D6, two the highest. I've always been a command point, I think. Yes, I have. One wound. Doesn't save. So he's left another wound, so a 10. That wasn't ideal, was it? Um, ooh, he's right there. And I can't get enough to shoot at him. Do I do it? Do I spend my last two command points? I think I do. Last two command points spent for these. Oh, no, I can't. He's minus two to hit. No, I can't. Minus two to hit. Um, right, just these bolter girls left, so they're going to fight everything at those plague bears, I think. Ooh. Right, two, three bolt guns and storm bolter first. Rerolling ones, that was terrible, girls. Come on, four to wound with the bolters. Ugh. Wounds, five plus invul on those ones. Nope, that's definitely resilient. One. One plague bearer dead. And then lastly, heavy bolter will fire at them as well. Didn't move this time. Three hits. Three to wound. Three wounds. No saves. It's completely resilient. Two more die. That's actually a lot better than two more die. Um, I've also got this grey fax firing at the grey one, I suppose. Two hits. Oh no, that three won't hit because he's minus two to hit. Doesn't wound. Oh, that's everything. All they did was kill one plague fly, a flu plague bear. They knocked off a, a fair few ones of clay. down to ten wounds, but you can heal them next turn. And that's all they killed. Ooh. And there, and there's still a great and clean one sitting right there, looking very happy with himself. Um, let's let's do a try a very long bomb charge with those seraphim. On those nurglings. That's not going to make it. I'm not going to do any other charges because that would be insanity, really. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. I've got two command points with them left as well. Um, they haven't killed a unit yet, so they're not getting any miracle dice. Getting anything, are they? This could be the end of the sisters, I'm feeling. Okay, on to, sis on to demons. Turn three. Okay, demons, move, movement, and psychic. So this guy jumped over here. The plague bears have come around this side. I think they need this guy does need some help. There's a lot of bodies over this side that we're dealing with. Um, over here, beasts have moved up. Um, he's obviously still. Oh, the nurgling. I meant to move that nurgling out here actually, because then he can get out of line of sight of them. Um, psychic. Flesh Abundance, healed two wounds, that puts him on he's having eight now. They did that manage to smite as well, killed those last two sisters. One of them got to five, did a damage. And this guy also managed to do another Miasma on the Great one again. So he's now still minus two to hit. Um, right, on to normal shooting then. Let's do him first, I think, the Great Clean one with his Plague Flail. He'll do Assault three, he'll fire at... What will he fire at? Let's fire at those two... Multi, let's fire two multi melters. Fire them. Salt three. Uh, three hits. Two to wounds. 
be rude. I don't know why I'm not using my dice tray. They get four plus in run. None. They're definitely dead. Five plus to get to fire. No. That's multi melt is gone. That's him done. Right, let's fire this one. He'll fire his death's heads at what would he fire at? He'll fire at the Dominion Squad, I reckon. Fours. One hit. One wound. Uh, play plus. Say so they're fine. Right on to the big one. He'll fire everything at. I'm actually going to fire at this Dominion Squad because I can take out a few. Actually, the melters on that big, on that scale, even hitting on. Nope, let's fire at the Dominion Squad. I want to see if I can kill a few of them. So, let's get up again. Not moved this time, so harvest a cannon. Two hits. Again, I'll not use my dice tray. These will be twos to wound. Uh, one wound. I'm command point that. I've got loads. Two wounds. This is minus one, so they get a four plus save. Two die. Five plus, I get to shoot. One gets to fire, so one melter. So let's take you off, and you're going to fire at that plague toad. Please hits. Uh, threes, wounds, five plus in run, made it. So that's fine. And then the D6 Flem Bombardment, two shots, three on fours, one hit, one wound, doesn't save. Does she get to shoot? Yes. Uh, she'll fight the same one. Plague Toad, hits, wounds, uh, in run, doesn't make it. D6 wounds, Ooh. oh, well, six anyway. That's a dead plague toad. Okay, well, not plague toad. Beast of Nova. One dead beast of Nova, that's not too bad. And one dead sister. Okay, that's not good though. Uh, right, charges. These plague bearers, they're actually just going to charge the Crusaders. Because then they can consolidate if they kill them into these ones. Uh, let's do them first. Plague bearers. They need probably a four or something. Yeah, they're in. Eight. And um, this guy will charge. Ooh, they're all quite scary. Um, they've probably got less shots. Let's charge them. You're dead. So you lot. So then we have to get in. So it's a lot of Overwatch to do, which I'll do. I'll do. I'll do Overwatch off camera. So he's made it into them. As long as he survives. This guy, well, he can only really target those two Gemini Superior, unfortunately. So he'll charge both of them. Um. He'll declare a target against Celestine as well, actually, because then um, if she tries to work and intervene, he can attack her. And I'll target Greyfax too. And he has to get in. And again, I'll do Overwatch off camera. And then last of all, these Plague Bearers. Well, the Plague Bearers will go first. They'll charge the Dominion Squad, and then the, the Beast will get in as well. The Plague Bearers has to get in. Does the Beast get in? Yes. So they're all in. I'll do Overwatch and then come back. Okay, Overwatch is very simple. He suffered one wound, he didn't suffer any, and they suffered one. Right, let's get down to some attacking. Um, we're still going to one first. He's going to attack the Gemini Superior. Um, Celestine's not heroically intervening. He's got five attacks. He's still got five because he healed those two wounds. He's back up to only suffering eight. Five attacks, hitting on twos. All hit again. Don't know why I'm not using my dice train. Wounding on twos. All wound. Four plus in run. Uh, it fell four of them. So that's definitely dead. That's all that's all them gone. So he is dead. He's not gonna control it because if he does hit they she then she then can hit him and she can do damage. So two dead damage superior though. Um and oh they're characters and they just died. That means I get a miracle dice, I think. Oh I should roll it anyway. A one. Fairly useless anyway. Uh, right, let's move on. Uh, let's do this guy. He's fairly easy. Uh, let's just find him. Her, it. So I've got the one attack from the guy on top. Doesn't hit. Then the four attacks from the drone. That doesn't hit. So they're, they're, they're safe anyway. Right, these plague bearers, they'll consolidate. Um, I think I can probably, well, there's three at the back and get in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which will be eight with the other guy. So I'll just get my, no, let's bite on the floor, well, that's lost forever. Um, fours to hit. That was fairly bad, guys, well done. 
Flees to wound. Three wounds. Three plus in vans. One more crusader dead. All right, that's this side done. We've not actually very much done. Right, nothing there. Over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one for the champion y person, the plague, or the plague ridden. Only three hits on them. Oh, I don't know if I, don't know if I re re rolled to wound with those guys, forgotten. Anyway, three wounds on these ones, that's easy. Uh, three plus saves. Two more die. Do they get to attack on a five? Right, one does. Does she hit? Cocked. Yep, does she wound? Nope, so that's two dead. I'll just leave my superior now, I suppose. Well, she's about to get eaten by Beast of Nurgle. She's got D6 attack for Beast of Nurgle. Three. Hits on fours. Three hits, well done, matey. Strength four, wounds on threes. Two wounds. No minuses, though. I can't be well wounds, though. Still doesn't wound. Save, so she's alive. She'll attack back. She's only attacked back. I've got a ton of one Crusader. I'll go with the Crusader first. He got charged as well, so can we roll that three? Two hits. Five to wound, though. One wound. Invan. Nope. That's a resilient. Nope. We killed one Plague Bearer. Well done, you, matey. Um, here, oh, you two are dead. Here, they will obviously consolidate. Um, like so, so that's one, two, three, four, five attacks. One, two, three, four, five plus one for the superior. Hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. One wound. The power swords are relevant, so I didn't bother all separately. Uh, saved, so he's fine. And then this one over here, she's got three attacks because and I've got chainsword. I think that's why I'm flicking that wrong, but let's do it anyway. Two hits. Uh, oh, she's in range. Three hits. Fives. No wounds. Right. Um, morale. Crusaders have finally lost one. They didn't lose any. They lost two. I think that means they're actually fine, but if I roll a one, I get a milk of dice. Nope, they're fine. Those plague bearers lost a couple, though. Uh, six. No, they lost one, so they're fine. Um, those plague bearers. Oh, I didn't roll for those Nurglings last turn. I don't actually know. What's the Nurglings leadership? Seven, so they're fine. I thought they, they needed a six to fail. Uh, right. It's not a good at all, is it? Um, okay. Oh, what's this going to do, really? They've got not many assets left. Um, I think these demons are probably just going to plough through them in the end. I've got, of course I kill this guy, but how? I've got 10 moves left. Okay, anyway, sisters turn three. Okay, sisters movement, pretty much everything kind of backed out really. I've left the crusader in place. I mean, she'll probably die, but she's just holding them there. Um, well, I don't know, she might not die, so basically she'll leave her there. I'll probably get her. And the crusaders are technically men, I guess, but in this army she's not. They made that combat, basically so these ones can fire at them. Seraph so moved right up. Um, so let's moved out of the way. I don't want to, don't want to suffer, um, stay the wall particularly. And then, uh, we haven't filmed it, never mind. Greyfax did a super smite, got 12. So couldn't deny it. She suffered one wound and she did six. Well, she did five mortal wounds on the great and clean ones. She's actually suffered 13 wounds now. Um, thank, and normally I haven't got any melters left to shoot at him, but that's still pretty good. It's a lot of damage, so it's looking better, really. She's going to get a lot of bolt fire soon. So on to shooting. Um, I'm probably gonna just have a little think, I think, and come back. Actually, no, I know what I'm definitely gonna do. I think I'm gonna bless bolts again. So it's a two damage I'm looking for, really. So I've got one, I've got one command bullet left. I'm gonna bless bolts and fire at this, at this thing again. Okay, so I need a lot of dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I lost them on the floor, didn't I? Damn it. Right, let's get one other one for the dice tray. 16, 16 dice. Hitting on threes. Miss, 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 miss. Not great, really, actually. Winning on fives. 
three wounds this time. Enough to kill him, if I'm lucky. Five plus in one. I am lucky, that is six wounds on him. At least to make four as costing him resilience. And he makes five. <laughs> one wound. Well then, girls, and then I've got a bolter to fight him as well, which could finish him off. Two hits. One wound. In one. Nope. Test resilient. Yep. He is very disgusting and very resilient. He's taken a lot of firepower. That, well, didn't work. And um, these ones can't fire because they work out combat. Um, oh, I'll do my Brazio of Holy Fire. Two plus. Yes. T6 mortal wounds on this guy. One. Last command point. Last command point. Four. That's better. It's got resilient. Next two still. Have two more wounds. He suffered 14 wounds now. No, 15 wounds now. He's only got a couple left. I don't know how many actually. Check. I'm going to check how many wounds he's got. That will make a difference on what I fire next. Okay, so he's got three wounds left. Greyfax, condemn the bolt gun. Um, hitting on fives. One hit. Wounding on a five. <gasps> Wound. This could actually kill him. Five plus in one. Nope. This is D three mortal D three wounds because he's a psycho. <gasps> three. If he fails all of these, I will obviously command point, but he will die. <gasps> Command point. Oh, he's got one wound left. One wound left. Oh my. This has suddenly turned the game around dramatically. One wound left on him. Right, my. This squad. Then I think I finish him off. Heavy Bolter will fire at him. I'll fire a crack grenade. Throw a crack grenade one of them and the rest of them will fire. So one of my bolt guns will fire a crack grenade. Do you. Heavy Bolter. One hit, no rerolls available. One hit. One wound. Five plus in run. Nope. Five plus. It's got to be resilient. <gasps> no, we need to come on point. That is a dead, great, unclean one. Oh my god, that has completely changed the game. Oh, I thought he's sad because I really liked him. He's dead. Blimey. That will be significant, I believe. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. So that's them. They're all used up now, I suppose. So the last one to fire then is Celestine. She will fire her Iron Blade. Uh, D6 shot at those plague bearers. D6 shots. One, well done. Or see what he hits. And that doesn't no, it does wound, because strength five. Five plus. Say it's a there or right. Um I'm not gonna do any charges, I don't well not with them. She's gonna charge those plague bearers, obviously. Um, I might do some, I might charge a whole load of stuff actually, I might just go a bit health. Oh, I forgot to do them. They will fight, they have to fight the Nurgling base, which is really irritating. So they're going to fight everything at the Nurgling base. So let's do the four hand flamers first, and I've checked two in range. Four d6 auto hits, six, twelve, sixteen, which I should be all of these, because that was what I had for the... Uh, three to wound, that's two wounds already. Best of them. That's a lot of wounds on this one Nurgling base. Let's get a lot of fives now. In one. One, two, three, four. Let's just take the six out and five six out. Does get an disgusting but I think this is probably a dead. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's dead. That dead guy. So they're dead. Nurgling's gone as well. Hmm, this is turning into a slightly more interesting game now that we've managed to kill some stuff. So, first team will charge there. She's already in combat. Kind of want to charge my cannon but maybe I won't. No, I think I'm going to leave everything else. Not going to charge anyone else. And hope for some good overwatch. Well, I could charge into him. No, they'll probably just die. Um, right, no, I'll leave it there. I do gain a miracle dice because I killed something. Six. Finally, something good. Uh, okay, well, that was a very exciting shooting phase for sisters. That has turned things around with a dead, great, unclean one. Okay, let's go on to combat. Okay, Celestine first. She hits on twos. Uh, one miss. Wounds on threes. Not using the other dice. Wounds on threes. 
four wounds, five plus invun, one, these are two damage each. That's three locked to two. So first one, dead, second one, dead, third one, dead. So that's three dead plague bearers, just the three uh, sort of champion stand bearer and musician <laughs> left. That's all the charges, so I'm going to go... Oh, that needs a blade barrel, but that's Crusader for it to attack back. I'm pretty sure she's going to die, whatever. Let's go with the Crusader first, see if he can kill that plague bearer. Hits on threes, two hits, with on fives. One wound, five plus six in one, nope. Nope, he did manage to kill a plague bearer. Well done, you matey. Okay, then it's Beast and Nurgle, D6. Two, a two, it's all threes, one hit, wounds, three plus, no, she is dead. I heard we use a dice. Does she get to attack? Yes, she does. She's got three attacks because of ten tools. That's cocked. <laughs> three missing misses, so she is just dead. Okay. Um, these three plague bearers, that'll be four attacks on Telestine. Hitting on fours, one hit, wounding on threes, you rolling, saved, uh, saved. Which is fine, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we can consolidate in now, eight, that'll be nine attacks, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fours, and then threes, we rolling. No need. Come on, lots of three plus in runs. Nope, that's definitely a dead crusader. I, I, I rate crusaders, people diss them, but they've done quite well for me. Um, oh, this guy will consolidate into them. They will consolidate. Oh, they can just clip them, look. That didn't work out well. Mind, okay, well they're in combat with those sisters. That means they can't suffer overwatch. And that is combat. I didn't... Oh, they've got to take a morale check. They've lost three this turn. They're fine. Um, they suffered some, but I don't care about them. No, sisters will be the dead. Uh, right, that's end of sisters turn three, I think. Let's go on to demons turn four. Right, demons movement and psychic was very simple. Uh, these guys moved up, they've all stayed in combat. Did a smite, got denied by Greyfax, who's done exceptionally well this game in the end. Uh, I've done his shooting as well, he managed to kill one of the Dominions, who didn't get to fire back. And now this guy's following everything at the Seraphim over there. So he's moved though, I moved him up, so he's taking that, he's holding that um, objective at the moment. So the five Seraphim, um, they've got, they used two fives with a uh, half cannon. One hit, wounding on twos, I think. Okay, wounding on twos. Doesn't wound. Uh, it's command point, they've got loads. Wounds. Uh, minus one, so four plus save. They're fine. And then the D6 claim bombardment. Three, hitting on fives. One hit, wounding on not that. So he didn't do anything, and they all survived. That's all the shooting done. Um, there's no charges. Because uh, they're all, I know he will charge. This guy will charge. He'll charge them as well. Because I think he would want to finish them off, hopefully. They will consolidate. So we'll go straight into, into combat. This guy first. Can't interrupt. So it's so this guy will go first. His one attack hits. Wounds. Doesn't kill one. And then the four attacks with the fly. Uh, no hits that done and then I get to choose one. I think I'm going to choose this Beast of Nurgle because if I don't, well, no, we will not choose the three. <laughs> don't choose. They're not going to kill the Beast of Nurgle, are they? They're not going to kill the Plague Bearers. She probably will kill those three there. So let's do those Plague Bearers first before they die. So I've got four attacks, hitting on something, not twos. Wounding on threes though, and rolling. Two wounds. Uh, that doesn't save, so she suffers one wound. One right, she doesn't have to go yet. Let's go with let's, let's go with let's, let's go with let's, let's I don't know what to go with. Let's go with this unit here one, two, three, they'll consolidate. 
Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six attacks. Disappear. They're in range of the cannon mess as well, so they'll be rerolling ones to hit. But they hit on fours. Uh, rerolling ones. So four hits. Wounding on fives. No wounds, so that's that done. Um, let's go with these plague bears over here then. They can all consolidate. So we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks because of the champion. Still have it quite a champion. That's right, that isn't it? Have those fantasy ladies. They'll be hitting on. I think it's threes. Let's check. I think, I think it's will hit on threes. It might be fours. Oh, it'll be on fours. Fours. So those don't hit. Winning on threes with a reroll though. All wounds. A plus power armor save. Ooh, three go down. They get to attack on five. No. It's three dead. Let's take out the ones that are there actually, because then they're not in combat and they can shoot them. Uh, these two will attack the fly. Uh, two hits. No wound. That's them done. Uh, the beast will attack those ones. D6 attacks. Two. One hit, threes, re-rolling, does some wounds. And last one then is Celestine. So it's been a fairly flappy melee turn. Celestine, it's on twos, wounds on threes, four wounds, in run, makes none. This is four up to two, one dead, one dead, and last one dead. So he doesn't have to kill out this plague bear. That means, that means I also get another miracle dice. Which I'll roll in a second. That's everyone. Yep. It's a fairly relatively uneventful shooting combat phase, really. Celestine is now available to go and do some stuff. It's starting to even up a little bit. I'll get a clean one's dead. There's a bit of a big gap. I've still got this, this nasty thing to try and... Oh, it's not that scary. It's not that good at shooting. I might try and kill everything else and just hold the objectives. I've got Slade of Warlord now. I can probably get Line Breaker with these ones. Got to try and kill. What we do is try and kill this lot. This guy, this beast, these ones here. I think is the really the, the job of the day. So let's see what we can do. Let's go on to sisters. Uh, turn four. Okay, sisters, so turn four. Shooting. Um, I've done psychic. Did one mortal wound on him. Done brazier of holy fire. Did four mortal wounds on that beast. Um, that did some pistols and things. Let's get some shooting off. Let's do her condemn the bolt gun first. One hit, doesn't wound. Let's do Ardent Blade, D6 auto hits. Five this time, one, two, three, four, five. Two wounds on this beast. It's both of them, two in one save, so that's pretty good for him. Then over here, I've got, oh, I took off a bolt, some bolt, what is that for? But anyway, okay. So in that case, it's all the same. Oh, the rapid fire, so. No blessed bolt this time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. And then the, the bolter. So I'm going to fight the plague bearers. I'll move the sail from over here as well. I've got to save that. that. Combat, obviously. So these are bolters into those plague bearers. Threes to hit. Fours to wound. Oof. Only three. Two saves. And that one dead plague bearer. That's one gone. Um, oh, uh, done that, done that, done that. That's everything done on this side. Um, these ones, so, oops. Four bolt pistols. These are always all going into the um, plague bearers. Two hits, no wounds. Pass a pistol, hits, wounds. Doesn't save, doesn't save. That's one more dead plague bearer. And then here's the one that matters, the four hand flamers. 10, 13, 7, 10, 13. Winning on 5 now though. So I've got two more to the last. So those. And then two more. That's a fairly good win world for winning on 5s. That many. That many. That 2 was 5. Uh, Marcus Invan. Make 2. Any resilient? None. That's four more dead. That is pretty impressive. That's a lot of dead plague bearers. 
Um, I believe that's all the shooting done. Let's do some charging. The Seraphim will charge the Plague Bearers. Five. Yeah, that's in. That's five easily. So they're in. They'll obviously have to consolidate in a moment. Sod it. Let's charge these ones in as well. Twelve. Well, they're in. So they are in. Let's try and get rid of those Plague Bearers. They will stay there. Do I charge? No. Nope. And Celestine will charge the, the thing. Three. Yep. She's just about in. She was really close. So she's in. Right. They can interrupt, but they probably won't. Let's do it. I've got his 13 first. 13 to call this. Celestine. Six attacks. Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on threes. Lots of wounds. Five plus invun. Makes none. These are two damage each. One wound left. Dead. Dead beast of Nurgle. Gets me another miracle dice. We'll go do the other one as well. Um, that's him dead. This is very much turned around this game. I've got a soul binder left, pretty much. Seraphim. Uh, they've got... I'll do the normal ones. Four attacks. It's cocked. Two hits. We have got fives. One wound. Five plus invun. Yep, and then the champion -y person. Two hits. Two wounds. Doesn't save. Doesn't save. Well, champion killed both of them. That's all the plague bears got as well. Blimey. And last of all, these two can attack this plague drone. One hit. Doesn't wound. Right, plague drones. The only thing they can attack back. Plague drone will attack back against those two. Here's one. Doesn't hit. And the four attacks. Three hits this time. Three to wound. Two wounds. Enough to kill them. Nope. So they're fine. No morale to take because I've killed everything. Um, this is looking very different now. I don't know what quite what they're going to do. Um, these demons now. They've suddenly just lost everything. Everything's just suddenly died. They just start fading all their casting with demons rather than passing them. Whew. Right. Demons turn five. I think I'll call turn five the last one no matter what the result. Um, see what happens. Okay, very quick turn five for demons. They can't win this game now, I've just realised, because, um, although, uh, no, they can't win it. Because <laughs> I can just take, I can take objectives and things. So they can't win, but let's see what they can do. So these moved up, menacingly for her. He moved, it's Mike, he passed it. Only shooting is this guy, he's going to shoot at Celestine. So the Harvester Cannon, fives to hit. Ooh, two hits. <sighs> I'll come up at one of those. Wounds. Um, four plus invun doesn't save. The heart kind of does. D3 wounds. Two wounds on Celestine. And it's got no Gemini superior now. Oops, so two on Celestine. And then the Flem Bombardment gives him three shots. Hitting him fives. No hits. That's all the shooting. He's got charge Celestine, so she'll do D6 auto hits. Six. Wounding on, well, those two fives are wounds. Five plus invun on that guy, none. So that's four disgusting resilience he has to take. It's none. He's had four wounds. That wasn't ideal for him, really. Four wounds. And then this guy is going to charge Greyfax. Oh, he does, does he get in? Obviously he does. Whoop, whoop. Doesn't look so pretty, does it? And then this guy's charging Greyfax, so he's got two shots that determine the bolt gun. No hits. So he is in, and that is that. And uh, we'll go straight into combat. We'll start with I can't interrupt anyway, so let's start with the tall grinder. He's got five attacks, and um, he'll be hitting on fours. Rubbish, he'll attack with his warp sword. Oh, you have a failed hit, so fire attacks. Two, three, four, five, hitting on fours, re rolling. That's cocked. Four hits, strength, probably massive. Eight to win on twos. Not so good. How many is command point in this phase though? Two wounds. Four plus invun. Fails one. I believe that is a dead Celestine. The question is, does she come back? Six wounds, that's a dead Celestine, that's three wounds each. For the warp sword. This is this is important. I can't use the miracle dice for this. She comes back. She comes back over like there. 
Um, I don't know if he can consolidate or not, but I'm going to leave him there because I don't think he can because he hasn't won combat. Can he consolidate? Don't know. I don't think he can. I'm going to leave him there. Right, Poxbringer. No idea how good you are. Probably not great, to be fair. You're not really designed for combat. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Poxbringer, three attacks. It's waiting on twos, though. So you get two ones, and I've already used a command point. One hit, one wound. Doesn't save. It does one damage. One damage. So she suffered two wounds. Um, I don't know what her stat line is. I'll have to come back for hers. And then this guy will go. Here's one attack. Hits. Wounds. Don't save. Do they get to attack? Yep. And then I'll do the other one as well. The fly gets no hits. So the one test that gets attack hits, doesn't wound. And then the superior hits with one, doesn't wound. So that's that combat done, and she's dead. Um, I need to look up Greyfax's stat line. I'll do that now and come back. Okay, going Greyfax. I actually just looked up her, her stuff. I didn't realize how good she is against Chaos. Um, because she's got the quarry. So against Chaos and Psychers, she can be able to hit and wound. And her bolt gun is actually three damage, not one, against Chaos and Psychers. Okay, so she might kill this guy. So, uh, three's to hit. We rolling because he's a quarry. Three hits. That's a wound roll because five's to wound. Which gets to re roll. One wound. Uh, Piper Sinvan. Nope, it's just two damage. Let's have one more wound. They, they both suffer two. They're just going to flap each other for a bit. And that is turn. She's already attacked. Right. This is going to be very quick, Sister's turn five, because I'm not really going to try and kill anything. I'm going to have to grab these objectives now, because that is going to be the last turn. I kind of want to see if I can finish them off, but let's see what I can do. Okay, simple Sister's turn five. They've all gone to claim these objectives. One, two, three. Some advancing to get there. They've advanced. Um, they advanced. So that's just moved. Um, did my smite. Didn't, yeah, got denied, but my Brazier of Holy Fire finished off that demon. That's pretty good. Uh, so I just got this guy, this guy left attack, really. Um, she'll fire a bolt pistol at him, I suppose. Doesn't hit. Let's, oh, how many wounds did he suffer? He suffered a, oh. he suffered four, there they are. I'll say he suffered four. I don't remember what he did. Um, I mean, he killed Celestine before she could fight back, so I know that she didn't hit him in combat. It was, it was the overwatch, I think. Let's fire everything at him. Why not? Let's start with his Condemned Nerf Bolt Gun like you're forgetting to use properly. Rerolling. This quarry. Nope. Winding on fives. Nope. Let's fire Celestine. D6 shots. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's also hit. Winding on fives. One wound. Doesn't save. Both the Castle Brilliant saved. It's not really worth shooting anything else, but because they they can't they can't kill it. I need anything else. Uh, I'm not going to try Celestine. This is the end of the last turn. Not even turn five. Let's see what happens in this last combat here. Let's do the superior. It's on fours. One hit. One wound. Saves. Let's see if this guy can finish off this last superior. He hits. Wounds. Dies. That was quick. Does he get to fight back? No, so he does manage to finish off that last superior. So he did manage to finish off the unit. That is game. Calling it there. That was very much felt like a game of two halves. I felt like the Nurgle demons really pushed up really hard. And you know, they were all lined up all along here, like full strength pretty much. And then suddenly, suddenly they all died. It seemed to suddenly happen very quickly. They all just fell, fell to pieces. Um, I don't quite really... I'm going to have to watch his back and see how that, how that happened. The Grey and Clean were dying was pretty mental. I mean, getting the Super Smite and then the Brazier of Holy Fire doing, doing like 12 damage between them, wasn't 10 damage I think between them, really, really helped a lot. Um, so yeah, last thing left was a Soul Grinder. And these ones, quite fun to use different, um, not using Valora's Heart for a change. So I had no six by feel no pain. Um, I mean, the the ignoring minus one was, would be relatively irrelevant, but um, yeah, I think person on the map is got to be Celestine. Getting that super smite off and then doing more damage to him with the Cadena book and afterwards finishing helping finish him off. I think I'm calling it her. Although the Brazier of Holy Fire was also very good. Did quite a lot of wounds to a lot of things really. So possibly well, those two, let's call it those two. My my ladies of the match. Cool, and I'll call it there, otherwise it's gonna be a very long 
a game if I don't shut up now. <laughs> uh, as you see what happened. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, check out the Facebook page, check out the Patreon. As I say every time, it buys several things, like it bought these light, it bought those craters, the dice, all sorts of stuff. It's spent on the channel. And I've recently bought some sister's doors to hopefully attach to this rhino to make it look more sistery. I'm going to have to do a bit of cutting up, I think, to try and get it to work. But yeah, there we go. That is it. Thanks a lot for watching. And see you next time.